Now let's see how a pharmacist versus a clinical pharmacist would handle certain situations. I'm, I, I have three examples on this uh, slide here that I want to share with you. And we're going to see how a pharmacist, like a regular pharmacist, um, would handle these and how a clinical pharmacist who is well trained would handle the same situations. The first example on the left is a patient is admitted to the hospital for the management of a new onset DVT. And by DVT, I mean deep vein thrombosis. The doctor ordered IV unfractionated heparin as per the hospital's protocol. Six days later, the, patient, uh, the patient's platelet count drops from 250,000 to 80,000 per microliter. So there's a drop in platelets after six days of therapy. The physician consults pharmacy for recommendations on how to manage this situation. Imagine that you are the pharmacist that the doctor calls. What do you think um, is appropriate in this situation? Would you continue the heparin? Would you stop the heparin? Would you recommend um, a dose reduction? What would you recommend in this situation? Think about it before I reveal the answer. All right, let's take a look at the, uh, what the pharmacist, um, how, how, or how the pharmacist responded to this. The pharmacist was not sure um, on what to do with such a situation or what to recommend. They ended up recommending um, to try to switch heparin to a low molecular weight heparin and see if that would solve the problem. Well, let's take a look at the clinical pharmacist response. Clinical pharmacist, yes, heparin could be associated with HIT. HIT is um, an abbreviation that stands for heparin induced thrombocytopenia. So it's basically a drop in platelets induced by heparin. Uh, the timing of platelet drop and the platelet nadir are typical for HIT. So the clinical pharmacist assessed the situation. They saw that the heparin was started and then six days later through therapy, so between five and 10 days, uh, the platelet started dropping and they dropped more than 50%. Uh, percent. Uh, so they assessed that and they calculated the 40 score and uh, altogether um, suggested that this is a high probability for hit. And don't worry about all of this information here. If it's new to you, you're going to learn all about that uh, in future modules. This is just an example to show you the difference in response between a pharmacist who is not trained as a clinical pharmacist and a trained uh, clinical pharmacist. The recommendation from the clinical pharmacist was to stop heparin and start a non-heparin anticoagulant like ergotroban and to order hit antibody testing. Of course, there are other recommendations in this situation that we're not going to talk about now, but I just want to show you um, how the clinical pharmacist assessed the situation and ordered uh, something or recommended something different from a pharmacist. 